Welcome back everyone. So it's great to be here today and I'm looking forward to talking about some uh, very powerful GPUs and we're going to talk about whether or not you should mine cryptocurrency on an RTX 3090. So stay tuned and we'll go over all of the pros and cons about mining and the RTX cards in general. Okay, so I've got a couple of cards in front of me. Um, we've got the RTX 2080 Ti. So this is the gaming trio. This is an MSI branded card and you can see it's got a triple fan design, this big shiny brushed aluminium backplate that I really like, beefy cooler and plenty of RGB all over the card. So this card will do about 60 mega hash, probably maybe a little bit more with some overclocks if, if you're quite lucky. It's got 11 gigabytes of GDDR6, so a, quite a lot of memory, um, powerful uh, card, good for mining. It's got two 8 pin, one 6 pin uh, power supply for PCIe connectors. Right, let's go to the card on my left, uh, probably your right. This is a brand new card. This is the RTX 3090, also from MSI, also Gaming Trio. When this card was released, the, the Gaming Trio was the top of the line card for MSI. So within each, NVIDIA actually has a, 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 a nomenclature of cards going from say the 1050 Ti all the way up to the 1080 Ti in Pascal generation. Um, and within that, the add-in board partners will bin GPUs based on the um, performance and the higher tier cards. So in this generation, the gaming trio got the higher clocked uh, GPU cores. So higher clock equals slightly higher FPS when you're gaming. There's a bit of bragging rights, you know, I've got the Gaming Trio, or I've got the Supreme um, in the 30 series. So for this generation, the um, Gaming Trio is actually mid-tier for the 3090 30, 30, um, series. Okay, let's take another look at the 3090 itself. Again, they've kept the design quite similar. The fans now seem to be a uniform design. Whereas before you have a smaller fan, I actually quite like it. They've improved it a lot. Backplate has gone back to a, a more sensible color. So it'll fit with the majority of cases. The Dragon logo of MSI is now white. And you can also access the, um, what do you call that? Retention cl clip that holds the GPU core on. So if you want to change the cooler, you could quite easily. So MSI is one of my favorite brands. Um, I actually like their cards. I like EVGA as well. I have a lot of time for Pallet as well, so all great manufacturers. What we're gonna talk about today is cryptocurrency mining. Should you mine on a 3090? Um, okay, so let's talk about the two cards. This card will return about 60 mega hash per second. This card will return 120 Depending on your 3090, you can actually squeeze up to 126, 127 mega hash per second. So you've got double the performance in the 3090 than the, 30, um, the 2080 Ti. Okay, let's talk about what everybody cares about in cryptocurrency mining, which is ROI, so return of investment. When you give money out for a card, how long is it going to be before you get the money back? Okay, so with... Uh, this card, it'll make about five British pounds per day, I would say, maybe higher than that, maybe six, seven, um, depending on the difficulty, depending on the, the price of, of Bitcoin. Um, I'm talking about nice hash, so obviously you can mine directly um, and get whatever currency you want, but in terms of nice hash, which a lot of people use, they pay you in Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a value, and you can either flog that Bitcoin, collect the fiat currency, or you can just hodl the Bitcoin, uh, which I know a lot of people love to do. Um, so this one is 60 mega hash per second, 120 mega hash per second, five, six, seven pounds per day, possibly 15 pounds per day, 17 pounds per day maybe. So you're actually gonna get a lot of revenue with this card. Right, so Turing architecture, Ampere architecture. So more efficient means uses less power per hash. So 
This card, about 300 watts. This card, about 300 watts, but double the, the hash rate. So the efficiency, which is the hash per joule of energy used, is double in the new generation. And that's expected, because newer architecture, smaller manufacturing process, equals more efficient design. Okay, so when this card was released, you had a series of cards going from the 2060, I don't think you ever had a 2050 Ti, 2060, 2070, 2080, and then you had 2080 Ti, which was the top tier of that Nvidia stack, not the add-in board partners variant, the top tier of the Nvidia stack of Turing GPUs. Okay, so then they also released some super versions, probably to compete with AMD. I never really got the super, uh, the 2070 super, is there a 2060 super? There's a 2080 super. Performance isn't actually that much better. A 2080 super is nowhere near a 2080 Ti in performance. So don't be fooled by the Nvidia scheme, marketing scheme, should be called. Right, let's go on to the 3090. So you notice that it's, it's a new uh, card for this generation. So you never got a 2090 card. This was the top tier. This is the top tier Ampere graphics card. So if you want bragging rights, get a 3090. Pricing is extreme. Um, let's just get that out of the way first and foremost. A 3090 MSRP is £1,400. So about 1500 I think it's about $1,500 because the US gets a little bit cheaper. Currently, these cards are selling for over £2,000. £2,400 this card is, is retailing at now. If you're lucky, you'll be able to get one at MSRP, but you have to be incredibly lucky. You have to have all the alerts turned on. You have to be waiting to click um, and beat all the bots to purchase these cards, to beat the scalpers. Everyone who's watching this video probably knows about the, the price of the 30 series cards and how people are just scalping all over the place. Worse still, the stores that we've um, been purchasing these cards from, they've become the scalpers. So you'll find that the stores are selling these cards for £1,000 over MSRP and, and, then, and people are still buying them. So the stores are kind of making money and profiting from the situation as well, which is a shame. But it is what it is, um, the GPU sh shortage goes on. Let's get back to on topic, right? You want to mine cryptocurrency, you have um, knowledge of the Ampere architecture is the most efficient. You could mine on AMD, but those cards are actually not that uh, well suited for mining. I'm talking about the 6800 XT, 6900 XT. I, I just forget about those. It's all about NVIDIA in this generation. Now you've got a, a variety of cards that you could use to mine. So 3060 Ti is very popular, 3070 is very popular, 3080 is very popular. 3090 is not a traditional go-to mining card. And it's all to do with ROI, um, return of investment. If you want to mine on this card, it'll take you longer to make the money back that you've outlaid in the card because it's the top tier, it's the, uh, the halo, or what we would term halo model of the lineup. Um, it's incredibly powerful, but the price to performance line, which is probably this way on your screen, it doesn't correlate with the increase in price, so it'll actually tail off. You'll pay double what you pay for a 3080, but the performance isn't double. It's actually about 20% more. So our ROI is actually poor for the 30 series cards. No, scrap that, <laughs> that's totally wrong. ROI is poor for a 3090 relative to the 30 series cards. But we're in a GPU shortage. So what if the only card you can get is a 3090? Well, it's a beast of a card. It's got 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory and an incredibly powerful core. It will mine really well, and your ROI at the moment is gonna be about four or five months. So if you mine flat out on this card continuously, you'll have got the value of the card back in four or five months. Okay, ROI isn't as quick as a 3060 Ti or a 3070. Everyone's screaming at the, at the, the monitor, yeah, but a 3060 Ti is 400 pounds and you'll be able to get it back you know, within two months. 
Yeah, you will, but where are you going to find the 3060 Ti's? If you're very lucky, you can get one, but I haven't, I haven't seen them for months online, and I've been, I've been looking for GPUs. Okay, so if you can get a 3090, I actually think it's a good proposition for mining, and I'll explain why. Rig density. So, you all know what a mining rig looks like. Yeah, motherboard, all these PCI Express risers, then you've got multiple power supplies powering the thing. Um, it's making loads of heat, loads of noise, quite a uh, kind of unpleasant thing to have in your house, to be honest. But nonetheless, we, we're mining on these cards. It's easier to have six 3090s than 12 3070s based on the motherboard that you're going to require. And even though the power is about half on a 3070 um, compared to a 3090, so half the power, half the hash rate, kind of makes sense. The Ampere architecture is the same in both cards. You'll need more slots on your motherboard for the 12 cards, but you'll also need more PCI Express power connectors. So these are, are three times eight pin. 3070s, this generation, are two times eight pin. So you'll actually have 12 times two, which is 24 PCIe slots. So if you wanna find power supplies, yes, you may get an 850 uh, watt power supply that can power four um, 3070s, but can you populate that with the slots? So you're gonna to have to then invest in more powerful power supplies. Whereas you can actually do, you could technically do two 3090s on one 850 watt power supply. Um, and bear in mind when you go up to a thousand watts or 1200 watts or 1600 watts, the price of these power supplies just goes up exponentially because everybody knows that they're in demand at the moment. So cryptocurrency mining, bad ROI for the 3090, better ROI for the 3070 or 3080 probably as well. I haven't seen those for forever, but um, 3090's got the worst ROI of the lineup. Better for rig density um, and better for power supply choices. Now let's come on to one thing which people don't consider when they are buying the, the variant of each card. So a variance of 3070, variance of 3090. When you have a manufacturer putting out different tiers of card, they pick the 3090 core and they make a card which has a BIOS that con controls the operation of the card, a cooling solution which cools the whole thing down, and it actually varies quite a lot in the different cards. So in MSI you've got the 3090 Ventus, you've got the 3090 Gaming Trio which is this card in front of us. I should have another look at that beast. And then you've got the Supreme which is the top card. The Supreme has the maybe it's 1800 megahertz core. So the, the, the core is a, is a binned uh, GPU core. So they get the silica and they, they bin the cores to see which is uh, the best. And then they put the best cores into the top tier cards. They charge more for the top tier cards. Okay, so we got this range. In Gigabyte, you've got the Gaming, Gaming OC. Then you've got the Aorus Master. Then you've got the Aorus Extreme. And you've also got the Aorus extreme water force which is actually lower clocked but you've got nevertheless the point is you've got this tiered system where you've got higher gpu cores for these premium cards with cryptocurrency mining on ampere the gpu core isn't the rate limiting step it's memory speed so memory is shuttling back and forth information to the, the GPU core. The core is then sort of working at 50% or whatever it is, just ticking over, performing this um, compute performance that then um, is, is, is uh, running the algorithm that allows you to mine cryptocurrency or be paid for the hash rate, whatever, however you do it. So buying the top tier core is a waste of money because the card will be uh, a core will be idling, um, not at 0%, but it won't be maxing out and putting full strain on the, um, the GPU core performance. So you might as well have a lower tiered core, save yourself some money. Number two, these higher tier cores also have higher power limits. 
so that the, the highest tier card will draw more power than the lower tier card. If you're mining cryptocurrency, you don't want a high, high power draw. It's all about efficiency. It's all about mega hash per watt. So buy the cheapest card of whatever one you're going to buy. So if it's 3070, buy the pallet gaming. Um, it's cheaper. It's got a lower power draw and it's, it mines the same. So you might as well get the lowest tier one. The one exception to that is resale value. So if you're going to sell the card on afterwards, people like the top tier card. It's kind of bragging rights. Oh, I've got the four, the win free. I've got the kingpin. Um, that's why I would say the other thing to consider is the cooling solution. So the don't ever buy a, a blower card, not certainly not in the 30 series generation. The memory on these cards runs very hot. So you need a card with a thickish back plate. You need a card with a beefy cooler. Um, and then even then, your, mem your memory on the back of the PCB of the 3090 is going to be running at 105 to 110 degrees. And it may firm or throttle, um, depending on ambient conditions. So that's something to be really aware of. If you've got a lower power consumption, um, controlled by the BIOS, the VBIOS, the power draw will be lower, so less heat, so power into the system equals heat output. Better performance, yes, in the core, but more heat. So I would actually go for the lowest tier card. I mean, this one came available. I'd actually, I'd actually prefer to have the Ventus, which is as weird as it sounds. I prefer to have the lower tier MSI card, or the Tough from Asus. That's meant to be quite a good one as well. So get the lowest tier card. Remember, you don't care about GPU core, you care about cooling solution and you care about price for ROI. These cards, you can still cryptocurrency mine um, on the 20 series, but it is all about Ampere. So I'm going to stop the video there. If you are mining crypto, maybe you are just like flat out on the 3070s, 3060 Ti's. Yes, they are cheap. Um, and if you can get them amazing ROIs, I kind of prefer the lower rig density, uh, like the power supply setup. And I like, you know, having the top tier uh, of the, the lineup. So anyway, if you agree, disagree, drop down in the comments below. And if you like the content about graphics cards, PC hardware, and we also do a load of motorbike um, renovations, riding, all stuff like that. We have a bit of a, a eclectic mix on this channel. Then um, hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified. Oh, one thing I should mention. I should have mentioned this at the start because uh, we've got through the video. But if you can hit the like because you're here anyway, liking the video actually does benefit the creator loads. And if you, if you watch other videos, you'll notice that people are um, really emphasizing liking the video because it actually helps with the algorithm now. It's not about um, sort of tags and thumbnails and everything. If, if people click to like your video, it actually gets promoted by YouTube and as a creator, then you, you do better. So if I could just make that um, request, I'd be really grateful. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me today and I'll catch you in the next one.